here we have the product sum formulas for sine and cosine. And they look a little bit complicated, but they're really not that tough. Uh, basically, on the left, you have uh, a sum of sine and sine, sine and negative sine, cosine and cosine, or cosine and negative cosine. And on the right, you've got a product, something multiplied together. What we're going to be doing with these problems is using these formulas both forward and backwards and um, trying to figure out uh, one side or the other. Let's take a look at this first one. We have which is the cosine of 6x plus the cosine of 4x written as a product containing only sines and or cosines. So the cosine of 6x plus the cosine of 4x, that looks like the left side, that's our sum side, and it's just cosines, so it's probably going to be this guy right here. And what we're going to do is simply take 6x and sub it in for u, and 4x and sub it in for v. So if we're going to do that here, uh, we've got 6x plus 4x over 2. Now let's see, that's multiplied 2 times the cosine. Uh, and that's multiplied by the cosine of u minus v, so 6x minus 4x over 2. Now when we simplify this a little bit, we've got 10x divided by 2, so that's 2 times the cosine of 5x uh, times the cosine of, so that's 2x divided by 2, that would just be the cosine of x. And what we get here is c. So not too hard, really just plugging in some values on that one. Let's look at one where we uh, do this backwards. So in this next problem we have which is negative 2 sine 5x times sine 3x written as a sum containing only cosines. Here they're giving us the product side of the formula and we need to find the sum side. Now our product is just sines and we want to find a sum that's only cosines. So let's look at our, our formulas here. The only one that has a sum that's cosines and a product that's a sines is going to be this formula here. So we're using this one cosine u minus cosine v equals negative 2 sine of u plus v over 2 times sine u minus v over 2. Now, how do we find um, what uh, the product side, or the sum side of the equation is going to be? Well, I like to think about it like this. This 5x part here is going to sub in for this part right here. So 5x equals u plus v over 2. Let's write that. 5x equals u plus v over 2. And now we have the 3x, it's going to sub in right here. So the 3x is going to be u minus v over 2. 3x equals u minus v over 2. Now we'll do a little bit of simplifying here. We'll multiply both sides by 2. 10x equals u plus v. And 6x equals u minus v. So what what we want to do now here is look for uh, u and v. If I have 8x is u and 2x is v, 8 plus 2, that would equal 10x. 8 minus 2, that would equal 6x. So looks like a is going to be our answer there. All right, let's look at one more. This one is going in the same direction. We have the product. We're going to try to find the sum. And we have a product that is 2 sine x times cosine 5x and we want a sum containing only sines. So let's look back at our formula here. A sum containing only sines is going to be this one or this one. And uh, we have the sine and the cosine. So it really could be either of these. Take a look at this. Uh, right, so we've got x subbing in for u plus v. And we've got 5x subbing in for u minus v uh, over 2. So let's write that. So x equals u plus v over 2, and 5x equals u minus v over 2. And then we'll simplify there. So 2x equals u plus v, and 5x, sorry, 10x equals u minus v. So we're looking for, for something where when we add them together, they make up 2. When we subtract them, they uh, make 10. So 6 plus a negative 4 is going to be 2, and 6 minus a negative 4 is going to be 10. So it's looking like it might be this one here. And if we think about um, that formula, 
you could plug it in the other way and crunch it out and see that it actually works. So ended up being this formula, and our answer is sine of 6x minus sine 4x. So that's a little bit of work with the product sum formulas.